what's going on you guys my name is rage and we are back today with a very significant update here in regards to the new raids coming to the game known as spotlight raids uh we're gonna be seeing actually a preview of what that's to come in terms of the rewards but as well the required teams right so it's great to finally get this clarity as well going forward how this is going to be impacting players and um and building up the roster here so as you can see a new raid coming fill up your web shooters and raise the canadian flag Big shout out to Canadians because uh, we've seen this previously mentioned before in the last vote, but this uh, new raid is actually going to be featuring the Alpha Flight team. If you recall, guys, we did the vote and it was both Guardian and Sasquatch that won that voting session. So we knew that they were coming into the game, but now this does confirm that they're actually a raid required team, maybe even a raid synergy team. Who knows? We'll have to see their kit once they get introduced here. But uh, it's interesting because I wonder going forward if these spotlight raids are only going to be featuring, you know, an X number amount of teams here. As you can see, it specifically highlights both Alpha Flight and Spire Society, which means both these teams are actually not going to be skippable if you guys want to be participating in this raid. But as well, um, it's actually an opportunity for us to farm ability materials. More on that later. So as you can see here, spotlight raids aren't just another Greek or Ultimates type raid. In fact, they're going to be replacing Greek raids. Uh, this, you know, signals to me that the Greek raids are on the way out, which means this is going to be the new secondary type of raid joining the game and becoming a permanent placement. The Greek raids are just so dated now with Alpha, Beta, and as well as Greek. Um, yeah, I'm sorry, Gamma, all, you know, not really rewarding what they should be. They were good at the very beginning when you try to build up characters, resources, so forth. But now that we're like way past down that economy, this is a great way to kind of reinvigorate what we do need in the game, especially for this growing demand of new players joining the game the return of uh, older players but as well just us just getting to the end game more in a progressive manner so as you can see the upcoming alpha flight team and spire society will be the first to blaze through these new raid challenges and the nice thing about this is that i'm looking forward to just another opportunity to unpack this puzzle and solve it as we're going through it and it does sound challenging which is really cool um featuring alpha flight also requires the cunning and agility of the spire society team right from the get-go uh, recruiting and powering this team is going to be very essential for the initial raid nodes um, and then as well just um, giving us the heads up that we can start finally already planning this up but what i really like about this update here is the fact that um, they're completely rechanging what we're doing in terms of the format so if you guys recall every raid in the game we have right now typically it's three teams of eight players that gives you the different strike teams right but now this is going to be signaling the welcoming addition here four teams of six so um, just more engagement, more autonomy. I think that's a great idea because um, you're just getting another leader or captain as part of that strike team that's going to be, you know, captaining and progressing that that progression and and the uh, the amount of uh, success that you have. So it's just a great way to kind of power up those those players, but as well giving you more autonomy to, to actually build those teams up in that separate great strike team. So as you can see, each strike team is going to actually also feature three lanes so that basically means you know six players three lanes everybody's going to basically have a partner right so i really like that kind of team synergy but it also means that now um there's definitely more pressure than ever before that you need to have an active alliance you basically can't be doing this uh without an engaged alliance especially all 24 members which means some lanes may feel it they may feel that pressure or they might have someone that's a solo specialist that just gets through all the different nodes regardless if there's a partner there or not but i do like this aspect because it's almost having like a a backup um, best friend in each of your lanes and you're going through it day by day now what i really like is they also gave us a, a nice little sneak peek of what's expected and there are only typically a couple of traits that i see right now um, as you can see the blue signifies where you're going to be starting so there's only three lanes right so you can start off on non-mythic to the left and then the boss then inspire society that's alpha flight all the way to the very end uh, with the final boss the second lane is uh same same story you're starting off in non-mythic you work your way to inspire society and then alpha flight and then to the boss and then finally the last one is also the exact same so um everything is gonna be the same it's just more so you're participating in your own different lane and you're meeting uh, all your lane partners at the very end to face the final boss together so yeah really cool simple but i like the fact that again that format change is gonna be absolutely huge for players just to try some different strategies now what i also like about this um not only just this introduction but as well giving us a sneak peek of what rewards are coming right so this is going to be an opportunity finally to actually farm t4s it's an opportunity because 
Um, you know, typically these T4 ability materials are the only way to really activate the full potential of many of the characters um, given bonuses, perhaps buffs, uh, extra additional effects. Uh, now we're getting this avenue. And on top of that, uh, Crimson Gear is also mentioned here, which means you just can't skip this raid at all because this is going to be challenging, but it also has some of the best materials in the game, uh, both in T4s as well as Crimson Gear if you're interested in not just elevating your character all the way to the max, but as well participating in ultimately Dark Dimension 7 for that, um, you know, that great goal of unlocking Mephisto uh, down the road later on. So that's pretty much in a nutshell, guys. Other than that, um, you know, still giving us some Easter eggs about the fact that there's an, another legendary coming in the game. We already knew this already in the coming weeks. But again, he's going to be part of uh, likely Deadpool, excuse me, Deadpool uh, in addition to Panda Pool and their new team. So we have to be on the lookout for that. All the time is, uh, is confirmed to be required for this, but additional teams will be needed. So this gives us the confirmation now that um, there is going to be some additional requirements as part of this. Now, it's interesting because they, it's plural here, which means I wonder if there's going to be an additional team or additional teams. But we always kind of knew this with these kind of trial events because at the end of the day, um, you know, we know that there's going to be multiple traits uh, going across those 10 nodes if it's similar to the trial events we've seen before. And then aside from that, um, there's a Dark Dimension cooldown timer. They previously already mentioned this in the blog post, but it looks like it does start actually um, today, April 18th. So this is actually going to be changing it um, going forward. Really awesome to see there. Then other than that, just giving you guys a heads up that Spire Society is ready. So yeah, again, guys, um, they've made this over and over, but Spider Society has basically become unskippable. It looks like Alpha Flight also in the same boat. So make sure you guys aren't missing out on this because these are both two required teams now going forward for these new raids. Now the good news is we got this information beforehand. So now we can best prepare and do the best with uh, the resources that we have on hand. Let me know anything in the comments below, guys. As always, do appreciate your time and I'll catch you guys in the next one.